Hey guys, Joe Cannon from SupplementClarity.com. In today's video, I want to cover a very interesting study on black seed powder and how it might help people with hypothyroidism. I've done a few videos and reviews on black seeds in the past. I'll put a link to them uh, in the comments below. But in my research, I uncovered a very intriguing study that seemed to hint that black seed powder might help reverse hypothyroidism. And this is a condition that I know a lot of people have, especially women. And uh, if you have heard of this study, I want to try to give you the lowdown on it. Okay. So without further ado, here is the study that everybody is talking about. It's a really lengthy study titled The Effect of Nigella Sativa, Sativa on Thyroid Function, Serum, Vascular Endothelial Growth Factor, and this fat in one on, and anthropomorphic features in patients with Hashimoto's thyroiditis, a randomized clinical uh, trial. Don't ask me to repeat that again. But basically, Basically, um, this is the study that everybody with hypothyroidism who takes black seeds are talking about. So um, I've, I found the study, read the study, and I want to give you the, uh, the lowdown on it as best as I possibly can. So in a nutshell, here's what the study looked like. 40 women with Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. Uh, hi, hi, Hashimoto's is the most common type of hypothyroidism out there, in, at least in America. Um, and so it makes sense they would test uh, these women. Uh, they were young to middle age, 22 to 50 years old of age. And the study lasted eight weeks, two months. Now, these women were randomly given either two grams of black seed powder per day or two grams of cornstarch as a placebo. They took a gram uh, of either before lunch and also a gram before dinner. So they took it twice per day. And the researchers obviously measured some uh, pretty normal stuff. They looked at thyroid hormone as well as TSH level. TSH is the hormone that tells you to make thyroid hormone. TSH is thyroid stimulating hormone. So the higher the TSH level, the the, the more likely someone is to have hypothyroidism. It sounds weird, but high levels of TSH usually mean low levels of thyroid hormone. That's why your doctor probably uh, did, a, did the original test, uh, if you have hypothyroidism, on just TSH. Uh, low, normally it's, it's low, you know, one, two, something like that. Uh, people who TSH is like, you know, five, six, seven, uh, that means the, uh, they're, they're, the TSH is screaming, make more thyroid hormone. Okay, so that's why they measured TSH. They also looked at the thyroid autoantibodies. These are the antibodies that actually attack the thyroid gland and destroy it. Um, most cases of hypothyroidism in America and other first world countries is due to a autoimmune disorder. So hence the reason why they tested autoantibodies. Um, and then they also looked at BMI, uh, body weight, body mass index and body weight, as well as waist circumference and stuff like that. Um, and then of course, as the title uh, tells us, they looked at uh, vascular endothelial growth factor. And, and that is a common compound, which you can kind of tell from the title, which helps us make blood vessels. Now, while blood vessel growth is great, too much blood vessel growth might not be so good because cancer needs a blood supply too. And some people with hypothyroidism uh, may eventually develop uh, cancer of the thyroid gland. And so they were curious, would black seed powder reduce this uh, vascular endothelial growth factor? And then the other compound they looked at was uh, this thing called nisfatin-1. I always get a kick out of that name, nisfatin, kind of a strange name. Uh, but it, it plays a role in hunger. Um, and, and also, it also plays a role in the uh, health of the thyroid, which is another reason why they tested this. Um, so what, what did the study find? Well, after eight weeks, they noticed that uh, people who were taking black seed powder had a significant reduction in thyroid-stimulating hormone. Um, that's pretty interesting. Remember, as, as TSH levels go up, that's an indication that you're becoming hypothyroid. So as TSH levels go down, this might be an indicator that your thyroid is getting healthier and you're becoming less hypothyroid. All right. They also saw a reduction, a significant reduction in the autoantibodies. Again, these are the antibodies that attack your thyroid gland and destroy it. So if you have less attack of the thyroid gland, that means your thyroid is undergoing less destruction over time, which again, might help improve thyroid health. 
They also notice a significant increase in thyroid hormone. Again, that would kind of make a little sense as TSH levels are going down and your thyroid is getting pummeled less by the immune system, it might start making more thyroid hormone. That's really intriguing. They saw a reduction in that vascular endothelial growth factor. Remember, that's the stuff that uh, might play a role in thyroid cancer. Um, and, and so if black seeds reduce that VEGF compound, again, that's reducing the blood vessel growth around the thyroid. So that's also a pretty interesting finding. They saw no change in that uh, nisfatin one compound. Okay, so uh, no no significant change there whatsoever. And then the last thing I want to talk about is what people tend to be uh, interested about when they hear this study. People lost weight and their body mass index went down when they took black seed powder. Now, I just want to tell you, I looked at the before and after weights of these people. I was not impressed with what I saw. After eight weeks, these people only lost about a pound or so. So while the researchers are saying it's a significant reduction in body weight, you can lose a pound or so after eight weeks on your own So without, without black seed powder. So I don't think black seed uh, powder uh, or black seed oil, et cetera, causes any significant reduction in body weight. I, I, just, I, never, I never really thought it did. This study kind of bears that out. Even though it's a statistically significant decrease, it's not a real life decrease. Uh, that's significant in my opinion. So uh, these are the key findings of this study. They are very interesting, but um, having read the study, I have a few issues with it. Um, number one, only 40 people, and they were, and that, and that's that's not the worst I've seen. I have seen uh, supplement studies having only one or two people. Uh, 40 is not bad, but I would have preferred to see about 100 or so people uh, in the study. The more people I, in the study, the more I tend to like it. Uh, it only had women. And so I get that women most likely are the ones who are going to get hypothyroidism, but it does affect men too. I would have liked to seen guys uh, in this study to see if there was any difference in genders. Um, I, I read the study and to be honest with you, I, I thought it was a little unclear at times what the researchers were saying. And, and so I, I grappled a little bit with, are they significant effect, un, not significant effect? Um, that just could be a difference in the language between cultures. So. Um, again, I just thought it was a little unclear at times. And, and again, I, I like the fact that it lasted eight weeks, but I would have liked to have seen something lasting, you know, three or four or five or six months. So we don't know what happens after eight weeks. Could we get a bigger benefit after eight weeks? It's possible. Um, so I'd like to see a, lar a larger and a longer study done uh, of, of the effects of black seed powder and hypothyroidism. Now, uh, a few suggestions uh, for you if you're thinking of running out to your health food store and grabbing some black seed powder for yourself. Uh, number one, before you do anything, go get your levels checked. Get your TSH tested. Get your thyroid hormones tested. Get your thyroid autoantibodies tested first. Get baseline readings of all of this, okay? And then go grab some, uh, some black seed powder. Now, I would start with less than two grams per day, okay? And that's because I want to see if you have any side effects. I don't think you will, but some people report minor side effects with this stuff, um, you know, itching or something like that, maybe a rash here or there, but nothing significant for most people. But um, I would start with less than two grams, maybe a half a gram for the first week or so, and then slowly increase the doses till you get to two grams, okay? Okay. And again, that's just me being, being Mr. Conservative when it comes to supplements. I say that for all new supplements. Start with less than is recommended. Uh, after two months or so, it doesn't have to be exactly two months. If it's three months or three months, whatever, uh, go get all your levels tested again, your TSH, your antibodies, your thyroid hormone again, and let's see if there was any significant difference between before and after you took this stuff. Uh, that's the best way to know if this stuff is going to work for you. All right, and that's what I would do if I was going to experiment with this. Now, if you're not going to do the experiment and you're just going to rush out and take some black seed powder for yourself, um, that's great. But make sure when you go and get your thyroid function tested again, you tell your doctor, hey, doc, I've been taking black seed powder because I saw that it, in a study that it might raise thyroid levels and lower TSH levels. I want your doctor knowing that they need this information so they can properly interpret the results 
of your thyroid tests, okay? Um, so always tell your doctor the supplements you're taking, and especially black seed if you are hypothyroided, uh, because I, they need to know this. So guys, that's all I got for you. I hope this uh, little video helped you. Again, I'm gonna put a link to my previous reviews uh, in the comments section so you can check out uh, everything that the research is showing on black seed oil and black seed powder. Uh, and again, if you got any questions or if this has helped you or didn't help you, leave a comment below. I really wanna know what happened. So that's it guys, um, hopefully this helped you. Have yourself a great day and